fun. I understand hate people who say passion. Passion for passion, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, my passion for passion came uh, from... Uh, I think it looks good! Does it always look good? Um, doesn't it? Yes. Good. I, I, would, I would describe your style as factorial. Yeah, well, good I can't yeah, tell us. Yeah, exactly. But it looks nice when yeah, you look at it. Yeah, factorial. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not massively passionate about football or massively passionate about kind of uh, um, bands or, or I, I just I'm into fashion. That's my kind of vibe. I, uh, my accountant is constantly at me to stop spending so much money on clothes. Yeah, yeah, I spent a lot. I mean, like, eight quarters. It was quite a neat show. He laughed at figures, and it was, and he was like, I can't find any contact. So, uh, I, I, you know, my, my grandfather was always immaculately dressed. He would always wear an uh, aqua school suit and church in front and a trilby. And so I watched him, I, I knew he was the kind of local don in this area. And, and, and I, I watched him and thought, wow, he, he, looks, he looks pretty sharp. And I genuinely believe that like, all the girls here have made a great effort today. I have to say, by the way, ladies, a lot of you looking fantastic. Um, I feel if you put on your best frock, Woo! you feel great, right? Yeah. You know? And so, I mean, oh, I love a bit mental, but actually, well, you know, mental, and mental can be great also. Uh, I, I just think it's really important to look nice, and uh, I think it makes you feel sharp, and, and, and it's, I think it's a nice way. I'm not a brilliant singer, I'm not a brilliant artist, and it's kind of my way of expressing myself a little bit. And it's very professional, I have to say. I think you're very well done. Thank you. Um, so, we're up close now, and um, clothes are beautiful, we're up close now, and I have to ask, who's your favourite designer? It's important to me. Uh, my favourite designer is a guy called Albert Elbez, who is... Uh, I hate him. Uh, you hate him? Well, you wear him, you basically look like him. Uh, He's no, no, not like that. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. You are dressed in the style of Albert. Yes, he's my uh, favourite designer. Yeah, he's he's this amazing, funny little puppy guy, uh, and he wears little. He looks like Moldy from from Wind in the Willows, that kind of thing. And he's got little glasses, and they probably don't even know what Wind in the Willows is. And he's got little glasses, and, and he wears these funny little suits with big bow ties, and he rolls his trousers up, and he looks a bit awkward, and I kind of I like that nerdy charm. Yeah, nerdy. Yeah. I, do you like Tom Brown? By the way, I've done it. Uh, I do like Tom Brown. I think he's super sexy. It, yeah. it, it gets a little bit footballer for me. It's all, it's all very, very structured and yeah. high quality. I'm not really into Harry Hill shirts. Um, yeah. I like it to be a little bit more uh, kind of. I, I like it to be like kind of deconstructed a little bit. So often not to have shoulder pads, not to have a lot of lining. You know, right, yeah. uh, Kilgore, which is an old famous old Savile Row. Uh, company who uh, I don't know, Gregory Peck used to get something in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was it Gregory Peck? One of those big old guys. Who was the guy in the bird? Alfred uh, Hitchcock. Uh, uh, is it all reference points? There's no one in the audience. Gregory Peck. Oh, it might have been. Cary Grant, that was it. Cary Grant, there you go. Cary Grant, you said Frank Sinatra. Loads all the big Americans who used to come in and get their shoes. Really? And they just started doing unstructured stuff. Okay. And, and it's, I, I really like it. You could move in it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent all of last year being very stiff, yeah. and so now I'm stripping away all the linings. What about, I mean, as the girls are all here, and you are really into your clothes, women's wear, do you like? I think, I, uh, I think there's a lot of really wonderful stuff going on in the high suite for girls. I mean, like, I, I've seen uh, I, a girlfriend of mine uh, works, she, she's part of the whole Adolfo Dominguez family, the Spanish family, and she constantly, she, she's just out shopping on the high suite the whole time in London. I think you've got brands like All Saints, brands like Henny, brands, I mean, Topshop is just formidable. Topshop, that you don't know how lucky you are. Topshop, when I was probably most of your age, was horrendous, like horrendous. And you just you couldn't go there. And for boys particularly, that top man was a joke. And, and, and now you have a really innovative range of, of young designers working all the time. You've got maybe two or three changes of stock a season when when I were a lad, which, which was a long time after you were a lad. Uh, they, they literally had you have one lot of clothes for the season and that was it. And if you didn't like it, which invariably you didn't like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it didn't change. And I know shops like Primark and Zara, although we have some ethical problems with those shops, uh, <laughs> they, they, they turn it around so quick yeah. and, and it means you, you end up looking fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, well here in Teddy, um, I have to ask you, I actually went there for a drink last night, yeah. I'm Irish with a dog. When I got home, I sky saw the Prince of Holland. Yeah. Shocker! I, I didn't see it. It's a, a diversity one, right? Yeah, but I'm thrilled about it. Yeah! yeah. 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 yeah.
I'm not a Susan Boyd of Mike fan at all, I have to be honest. She's not that talented, I'm actually mental. And you work in television, and she's not able for acting, I think. So, you, did you watch Britain's Got Talent? Are you a fan? I went to Britain's Got Talent on there. I'll be going up. It there on Wednesday night. But I went on the really terrible night. I went on the night when they had, uh, like, they had the little kid and uh, the, the Stavros Flat League guys. Yeah. So that was, It was, it was, Britain didn't have any talent the night I went, it was a bit of a nightmare really, but, but I, I've been impressed with diversity, I thought Flawless were amazing, was the only time I ever saw her, I think she's alright Susan Boyle, but she's not, I think it was more when she came out and she just looked like she was going to be a disaster, and she came out and she nailed it, and it, it was that initial shot, that's the Paul Potts guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Potts, uh, he with the funny teeth, he doesn't have funny teeth anymore, he's got a lady to do that, and he, he was a phenomenal singer, like, uh, anyway, you know what, good, good for her. She, she, you know, she wasn't having a particularly nice time up yeah. in Scotland, so she can go off and change her life and yeah. show people who are having an equally kind of tough time of it that actually there is an opportunity to, to make make your life better than good for Britain's Got Talent, I say. Now listen, you're in a position where you took on a role with her old baby, baby. remember her? Yeah. Love her. Um, and, it, you know, Sabina is that show. Yeah. And I, you have made that show your own, definitely. Hasn't he done a really amazing job on Big Brother? Yes, please. Um, so, uh, and in every young contender's hope, I always, they always thought about the um, DJs yeah. for the, the Big Brother when I was talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your dream contender job? My dream was any job, I suppose I want, I want Jonathan Rocky's job, really, on Friday night. I'm, I'm more than happy, yeah, I'm more than happy for the first few years to still call it Jonathan Ross, you know, Friday night with Jonathan Ross, uh, whilst I'm doing it. But I, I, either that or I'd love to do, I'd love to do a British Got Talent, or I'd love to do a, a, an extra. So I think if you're going to do, if, you, if you're going to, you know, if you're in it, you know, be in it, be in it, man, be in it to win it. Yeah. And there's no point, there's no point if you, if you, what if you aim for the stars, shoot for the stars, and even if you fall, you'll still be, in the south. I can't remember the proper, but she's at the stars, she's had a bit of an unloaded gun. Yes. And would anybody, we've been through our last session with George, your last chance to touch him joking. Um, would anybody like to ask